This video describes data protection solutions in which data volumes are shared by Hitachi Universal Replicator, or HUR, and Hitachi Thin Image, or HTI. Hitachi offers both remote and in-system replication solutions. The Universal Replicator Asynchronous Remote Replication Product replicates data between storage systems at different sites. The Thin Image and System Replication Product enables you to generate and store point-in-time copies of data within a storage system. In this video I'll talk about these aspects of a volume that is shared by Universal Replicator and Thin Image. The conditions for Universal Replicator and Thin Image operations on pairs with shared volumes. The performance impact of host i os on pairs with shared volumes and the Universal Replicator and Thin Image license capacity usage for pairs with shared volumes. This is a typical Universal Replicator and Thin Image shared volume configuration. The Thin Image pair, pair B, is used to create point-in-time copies of the Universal Replicator secondary volume in pair A. The Thin Image secondary volume can be used for purposes such as backup or development. Here's how you can manage a Thin Image pair in this configuration. You can create the Thin Image pair at any time after the Universal Replicator pair has been created. You can delete the Thin Image pair and its associated snapshot data at any time. If you want to restore the Thin Image pair, you must first delete the Universal Replicator pair. And here's how you can manage a Universal Replicator pair in this configuration. You must create the Universal Replicator pair before creating the Thin Image pair. After the Thin Image pair has been created, you can perform any pair operation including Split Resynchronize and Delete on the Universal Replicator pair. If desired, you can also perform a Hork takeover operation on the Universal Replicator pair at any time after the Thin Image pair has been created. The Hork takeover operation swaps the Universal Replicator PVOL and SVOL. Now let's look at performance. In this shared volume configuration, there is no impact on the host I.O. performance of the Universal Replicator PVOL when read and write I.O.S. are executed on the Thin Image SVOL. This graph shows the response times when read and write I.O.S. are applied to Thin Image SVOLs. As you can see, the host I.O. performance of the Universal Replicator PVOLs is not affected. Now let's move on to the license capacity usage for Universal Replicator or Thin Image Shared Volume configurations. When a Universal Replicator SVOL is used as a Thin Image PVOL, the HTI pool consumes license capacity from both Dynamic Provisioning and Thin Image. For example, when you create a 19TB HTI pool, the license capacity usage for thin image increases by 19 terabytes. The license capacity usage for dynamic provisioning also increases by 19 terabytes. This usage does not change when snapshots are created. Thin image license capacity usage is not affected by the number of S falls per pair or the number of layers in a cascade configuration. When a snapshot is created in a dynamic provisioning pool, thin image license usage increases by the total capacity of the dynamic provisioning pool and does not change with the number of snapshots. Thin image license usage becomes zero only after all snapshots are deleted. When thin image pairs are created on Universal Replicator PVOLs or SVOLs, Universal Replicator license usage remains unaffected on the primary and secondary storage systems. And that concludes our quick look at configurations in which volumes are shared by Universal Replicator and Thin Image. For more information about this and other Hitachi Vantera data protection solutions, check out the other videos in this series.